Well, like, because she's an awkward fucking teenager who, like, wants to be all dark and interesting, but she also is attracted to boys. Like, she's a normal, yeah, she's a person. (laughs) She's also just, like, a 16-year-old girl. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that's one thing I think we just spent all this time bashing the novel. I think we just spent, like, 30, 40 minutes. But it's the one thing I think Joy Williams is, I would say, I would go as far, even though I'm not a huge fan of her style, now that I've read her short story collection and her kind of one of her big novels, one thing I think Joy Williams is better at than any other writer I've seen, any other thing I've read, is that this kind of this conflicting idea of the very human nature of we're performing, we're even performing our own thoughts in our head kind of thing. And I think she captures that better than almost any other author I've ever read. Particularly, I'm thinking, like, the random sexual thoughts that pop into characters' heads for, like, a split second, and then they kind of, like, dismiss them and we keep going. I think that she captures that in a way that is just beyond any other writer I've read that's like, okay, that is human. Like, that is, like, the most human thing. Like, just that random stupid thought when you're mid-conversation listening to somebody and then you're thinking some random sexual thought and then you just kind of push it down. Uh, she's very good at doing this with both male and female characters. She's incredible at, uh, cause again, it's just a human thing. I guess yeah, it's not even, doesn't even matter in terms of male female. It's literally just like a human. Yeah. I thought she was good at that too. I, and you know, like we bash this one a lot, but there would be little denying here. I think that she's, you know, technically speaking a good writer. Right. Like, and, yeah, everybody has their own taste. Writes, like yeah. some really fucking beautiful prose, and like if she, you know, like I, like I said, I'm still interested to like read her short stories. I've had a hard time getting through this particular book. It's the same thing, dude. Uh, but I would, yeah. But like, I think doing that over the course of a short story is a, has a much different effect than doing it over the course of an entire fucking novel. You know, reading 10 pages of this is a different thing to me than reading 300 pages of it. Yeah, the specific, the thing that made me write that down, especially like the kind of fleeting sexual thoughts, was uh, page 142 uh, when they have Ray tied up in like the desert (laughs) and he's asking for aspirin. Uh, and they, they popped one in his mouth and then he's like, could I have about a half dozen more, Ray asked, and some water? And then, like, the inner monologue or the narration goes, uh, there was something vaguely quasi-religious to this, even sexual. Not at this exact moment, of course, but possibly (laughs) at a future moment. Three chicks and an American male, bondage and threat, great lawless fun just waiting for the unexpected spark, three flower plots waiting to be seeded or waiting for his seed. He was at their mercy and their service. He could do it. He just had to coast out out this headache, keep being congenial. Uh, and then, yeah, and then it just kind of disappears. It goes on for like two more sentences, but then it just kind of, that thought gets pushed away, right? It's just this brief moment of like this guy having this sexual thought as he's being tied up by these three young women, flower pots in need of his seed. And then it's just dismissed. And then it just moves on. Like he's talking about his headache after that. And he just keeps talking about his headache. And then it's like, all right. I think she just, ca- and she does this with Alice. I think Alice, like where she doesn't, she does this well too. And I, one of her short stories, I don't want to get on something we didn't read this week, but her one short story, I can't even remember the name of it, but the one that I thought was the best in that collection I read was this one about these two, like, 15, 14-year-old girls at a boarding school, and they're, like, spying on their, like, hot young male, you know, English teacher or history teacher. It's always an English or history teacher kind of thing. And, like the one friend like doesn't actually want to do it but like she's just doing what her other friends said and like then you hear like the one friend who's like telling her to like spy on this guy doesn't actually think he's hot either she's just like doing it because she thinks she's supposed to and I just thought now that is the brilliance of Joy Williams like that's what she's able to capture this kind of weird 
performance of it. Yeah, like this kind of, even in our own heads, we're like, we're issuing this kind of rationalization for our performance or outward performance and the kind of confusion. So when you're young and you're doing that, obviously it's confused and it's more confused than you are when you're an adult, I guess, or you would like to think, but 